I'm going to talk about the custom symbol font library, what that is, what it can do for you, and how to create and manage it. Basically, what you're doing is you're creating your own font, quote unquote, library uh, with the images that you require or desire for your control screens. Here's our two examples. The right is the default. As you can see, we have uh, the home button and all the text that you would normally see when you design a control screen. On the left are images that I imported. So let's talk about how you access it. When you're creating control screens and you have your elements uh, like your, your buttons, you have in the properties window to the right or where and by default it's to the right, but it could be anywhere. But in the properties window, you'll see that you have the display type set to text. Usually that's the default display type. However, you can select that display type and change it to symbol. Once you change it to symbol, you now notice that the on text and off text and color of the text disappears and you have two choices, uh, on symbol and off symbol. Now you have the ability to import what you've ostensibly already created of a library, but we'll get to that. And then getting to the library is easy. You just click on the none and you can see that you have the ability there's a drop down menu and you click edit and this pops open the symbol selector dialog now this is what it looks like by default it's completely empty now how you go about uh importing is going to be something we need to jump into composer for and to talk about so let's do that without much further ado so Here's Composer, and you'll notice that these buttons are a little bit different. And the reason being is these are separate images. So this is a fader that has been converted to an up-down type. That's the mode of it. It's either fader, horizontal, vertical, vertical knob, or up-down, or horizontal, vertical. So let's go to Properties window. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go to Default. Okay, so let's bring in the default and click on an element, the Mute button. There we go. So here's the mute button and you can see in the properties over on the left. So the display type is now text as I showed you. So we're gonna select symbol and go to edit to pop open this window. This is what you're presented with when it's first open. Getting your symbols is very simple. When you import, you're importing to these slots that you have selected. So if you want to import multiple images, you need to select multiple slots. So in this case, um, I want to import, let's say 55. So I have these selected. Then I go down to import selected symbol image files button. And then I can go searching for images. So I'm gonna select all of them. It's much more than 55, but I just wanted to be safe that I can import as many as I need. Now, some of these are actual photos, so I don't want those selected. They're not, image, they're not uh, uh, smaller images. Uh, they're large images, so I want to make sure I don't select those. But the rest of these are all smaller icon sized images. Let's go ahead and hit open. And there you go. Once these are in the menu or in your custom symbol library, this is your library for this site file. Uh, it is only within the site file. So when you hit OK and you save your site file, that's it. And with that, Thank you very much. Have a good day.